Hello, my name is Damon Forge, and I'm going over how to set up the Universal API Discord bot integration. This tutorial is going to go over how to set it up with the desktop manager. But keep in mind, if you're using the web service or any other version, it will be very similar. You just might be editing the JSON file instead of editing it in the GUI. All right, so first step, I'm just going to kind of go over a few things that you need to get set up for this to be work. First thing is you need to um, install the Universal API Manager. If you have not installed this, you need to stop and go and install that first. There should be a link in the description below for how to uh, install the Desktop Manager. Uh, once you have that installed, the other thing you're going to need um, is a de uh, Discord app. All right. So to build, make a Discord app, you're just going to go discord.com slash developers slash applications. And you're going to create new application and you're just going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Damon Forge demo. Click create. All right. And here you can create, give it a little icon if you want. I don't really have any here. All right. Um, the other thing you'll need to do is build a bot. So you're going to just click add bot. Let's say yes. All right. Same thing. I just make these the same images. All right. So from there, um, you're also going to have to then invite this bot to your Discord. All right. So to do that, you're just going to go into, um, I believe, OAuth, yeah, OAuth. And you're just going to go down to Scopes, and you're going to choose Bot. All right. Um, so, so I'm just going to copy the link here, and I'm going to go into a tab. And I'm going to just paste this in here and up here in the permissions, you can go and get custom permissions. Um, I usually recommend that actually, um, under, uh, where is it? I believe is a bot. Oh, down bot. Yes. So in bot, you can go through and actually give it the permissions you want it to have. So most likely you'd want it to have it manage channels, um, view channels, read message history, um, send messages, uh, mute players, move members, uh, manage messages. There's a bunch of other permissions too. Um, I'll eventually have the number maybe listed in the description below. This may change depending on what type of, what more options have, uh, manage roles as well. Um, so you can just copy this, uh, but for now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the administrator permissions because that's the easiest, which is just eight. So I'm going to give it eight um, and I'm going to go here and then add it to my, uh, you're not ready gaming server. All right. So copy and authorize. All right. So once I've authorized the bot on my discord server, um, you'll see here that it just says Damon Forge demo has joined server. And if I scrolled around, I'd be able to find the bot. All right. Uh, it's not really important for now. So next step is um to go back here um and now we're going to set the pod up properly so i'm just going to take the uh go to oauth and i'm going to cop the client id here and i'm going to go into system config scroll down to discord and paste it in here uh just to keep thing uh make sure you change this to string before you paste it in otherwise it may not copy properly all right then i'm going to copy the secret um, paste that in and then I do the same thing with the bot token, paste that in. And then I'm also going to need to copy the guild ID from the discord so that you can just get from right click copy ID. If you don't see copy ID, you might just need to enable copy ID, um, enable, sorry, developer mode. So just go in here to advance and enable developer mode. All right. So. I'm going to paste the guild ID in there. Again, just change this to a type string. All right. Um, if you want a required role, you can paste that in there too. This just means that the players would have to have this role before they can join your Discord. All right. In the next section here, um, blacklist roles are reverse. They can't have this role. Uh, the restrict signups prevent people from signing up using VPNs or proxies or such. All right. So I'm just going to uncheck that for now because we're going to be testing this on my server here. All right, so hit save. I'm going to restart the API. All right, 
Okay. So you'll see Lahi into Discord bot. All right. You're going to go into OAuth. And you're going to click Add Redirect. All right. Um, and in that redirect, you're going to paste in your server's IP. So HTTPS and then your server's IP slash Discord. All right. Slash callback. All right. Um, and then you're just going to save that. All right. Um, so once you've added that in there like that, we can go into the tab here and we can test it. HTTPS 192. All right. And we're going to click connect. And you're going to get this thing. The Damon Forge demo account wants to access your account, um, access username, avatar, and banner. Um, all right. And if you had your logo, you see your logo here. All right. So I'll just click authorize. And then, boom, you'll have successfully connected your Steam account to our Discord. All right. Um, and this connects it to there. So, boom, you got it done. And now people can start using it. All right. Now, one thing to note is this set of says a not secure up here. Also, if this is my first time going here, you'd have an option that would say advanced, continue. It's a little cumbersome for people, and some people might not trust your website to take your Discord and such. Even though it is secure because it's all sec like encrypted, people won't see that. So what I recommend doing is set up a custom domain. If you have a domain, you can buy a domain from like domains.google.com or GoDaddy or any other of those providers out there. Um, I personally, right now, I'm just going to use Freenom um, because you get a free domain uh, from them. You just have to renew it manually every, like, I think three to six months. Um, so once you go in there, you're just going to click on Manage Domain once you get your domain. Um, and essentially, you're going to go in and you're going to go into the Management Tools, Name Servers, and we're going to use Custom Name Servers. And we're going to set that up in a second. So um, once we have our domain, I'm going to set it up using Cloudflare. So I set up an account on Cloudflare, and I'm just going to say get started, and I'm going to then take this custom domain that I made, DamonForge.tk, add the site. This will take a few seconds. Um, you can just use the free one. All right. Um, so what this is going to do is allow us to use a custom domain. And with Cloudflare, it's going to allow us to use their proxy, um, essentially, or their CDN um, and reverse proxies, to essentially give you a SSL certificate for free through them. So you have no records. So we're going to add a record. And I'm just going to call this, you know, server. Or I see what it's called, Daisy. Right? And the IP address will be the IP address of the server. So once I save that in there, all right, perfect, continue. And then it's gonna ask you to change your thing. So you're gonna copy this. You're gonna go back into your name servers. You're gonna paste this in and change name servers. Now, depending on your provider and such, this might take some time. Um, and of course it signed me out. One second. All right, so now I've done it correctly. You're just gonna see in here, my name servers are now these ones. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your new domain that you created. So let's just check. Uh, I'm sorry, we gotta finish this process. So go through, this time doesn't matter. Just gonna go through all this. And all right. All right. So once you've set this all up, we're waiting for the th um, here. We're going to go to SSL and we're just going to make sure that this is, I believe, on full. All right. Um, and we're gonna make sure our DNS is set up here. And then while we're waiting, we're going to go in here. And instead of it being the IP address, we're going to just change this to be daisy dot daemonforge.tk, right? And just change that here. So now we have all that in place. 
I can do this now. So I can go to dameforce.tk slash discord. Discord slash my Steam ID. And hopefully everything is good to go. So we always gotta wait a bit longer. All right, just had to wait a few minutes. So now it's working. Um, so now you'll see this little secure symbol, all right? Um, and up here, so you'll see that it's now secure, encrypted. They won't get those weird, those error messages. All right, um, so uh, one thing just to note as well, sometimes there's weird issues. I find if you just change this to, um, if you go into your Cloudflare account, go to SSL, change this to flexible, and then change it back to full, seems to fix the issues for me. All right. Um, and now yours is fully set up. And all the next step you have to do is in your universal API configs on your servers, um, here we go. Go to servers, Omega servers, profiles, and your universal API JSON. You're just going to edit this and you'll just change it to your domain name. So daisy dameforest.tk. All right, save it, restart your servers, and you're good to go. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, once you've set all this up, you're good to go. And yeah, so that's really all there is to it. Um, again, again, making sure you change this in here to the domain once you set up the domain and making sure that um, it works is always key. So if I change to connect, I click authorize now, it's gonna give me an error just saying I've already linked my account. But um, yeah, so if there's any questions, feel free to ask in the Discord. Uh, you can also ask in the comments below, but I am much more active in the Discord. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll get a step-by-step -step tutorial up on my GitHub in the super near future. Thank you.